So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mega House Variable Action Heroes One Piece Past Blue Yellow Vest Version Monkey D. Luffy. So let's get into it right away and start off with the box. So we do get a basic style box for the Variable Action Heroes One Piece line. We do get the window right there on the front of the box. On the top says One Piece. We do get a cool image of the figure on the right there. Then on the bottom of the window, we do get this new sticker that says Variable Action Heroes. So the bottom of the box is Monkey D. Luffy, Past Blue, Version Yellow, Toy Animation, and Mega House. And then the bottom of the box has the blah 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 stuff nobody cares about. Then we do get a really cool image of Monkey D. Luffy. And then the top of the box here is pretty much the same thing as the other figures in the line. This one just has past blue on it. And then here is the one side of the box looking pretty nice there. And then here is the other side of the box. And then the back of it just shows a couple poses you can get the figure into. But then we don't really see any of the accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure open and take a closer look at one of my favorite characters of all time. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look. And I think Mega House killed it with this pre-time skip Luffy. They did an excellent job with this figure. And this is the version of Luffy from the uh, Marine Ford arc. So if anybody was curious which version this was, that is which version it is and it's probably my favorite pre-time skip version of Luffy so I'm really glad that they made this uh, Marine Ford arc Luffy here but they did a phenomenal job with this figure and I feel like this is the best uh, articulated Monkey D. Luffy figure that we have as of right now uh, the face looks great there is a couple paint issues on it like there's some black paint marks on this face here like by his right eye going towards his nose there's some black paint on there I don't know if you guys could see it and then under the right side of his mouth on the bottom, there's a line of black paint. And then up by the right eyebrow going towards the ear, there's a line of black paint there as well. So that is a little disappointing because it does ruin the face a bit. But other than that, they did a great job with the eyebrows, the eyes, nose, mouth. And we do get his scar and the ears look pretty good too. It looks like there's some subtle paint shading on the ears as well. Uh, one of my favorite parts is definitely the hair. They did a superb job sculpting the hair. I always like how uh, Mega House sculpted the character's hair. I always thought they did a good job with that. And Luffy's hair is very, very sharp. It has stabbed my thumb a couple times from interchanging the faces. So be extra careful with your figure. But I do like how they put like sculpted lines throughout the hair as well. They did a very good job with it. It just looks dope. Very nice job with the sculpt of the hair there. I don't know if there's paint shading. It looks like there is. But I think my eyes are playing tricks on me. But they did a great job with the uh, hair sculpt there. Neck looks good, uh, nice sculpt, and then we do get some paint shading on it. And then the torso here, the skin tone on his chest, you can see some paint shading, so good job with that. Uh, even on these pieces that are covering the joints by the shoulders there, they actually put paint shading on that as well. You can actually see like his rib cage right there, so I guess nice attention to detail with that. Uh, the vest looks great. Uh, the top part of the vest is actually a softer rubbery type plastic, so is the midsection piece, so it doesn't really hinder too much waist and torso articulation and I think the uh, part on the upper torso is actually separate from the actual body so I do like that they did that so it doesn't hinder the articulation but they did a beautiful job sculpting and adding the paint shading and nice clean paint on the gold buttons there they are sculpted on there also so I like that they did that but the sculpted wrinkles really look awesome throughout the entire vest here it continues over to the side, we do get some uh, sculpted seam right there. The paint shading is on there as well. And then continuing to the back, we do get the paint shading and very nice sculpted wrinkles all throughout the back of the vest there. So great job on the torso. And then the arms look good too. Like I said, the piece hiding the joint at the shoulder does have paint shading on it. I don't know if the shoulder does. It kind of looks like it's on there, but it's very subtle. We do get some on the bicep and on the forearm. The elbow joint looks pretty good. Some people might not like it. You can see that... Uh, uh, metal piece in there, but it really doesn't bother me because you see that with a lot of imports like SH Figure Arts and stuff. But the elbow joints do look pretty good. I do wish they added a little more paint shading so it blended in better with the uh, bicep and the forearm there. But very good job throughout the entire arms. Now for the lower half of Luffy here, uh, very nice sculpted wrinkles all throughout his shorts from the underwear type piece to the shorts on his legs there. They just did an excellent job sculpting the wrinkles. Some people might think they overdosed on it, like it might look like it's a little too much sculpted wrinkles but I think it looks pretty good and then we do get the uh, seam sculpted on there you can see the back pockets sculpted on the back of his shorts and very nice sculpted wrinkles all throughout the uh, shorts here and it looks like there is paint shading on it I, I'm 
I don't know, my, I think my eyes are playing tricks on me with my lights and everything. I mean, it doesn't look like there is on the front, but it does on the back. I don't know, I might just be seeing things. And then the lower part of these shorts here, or the bottom of them, uh, very nice sculpt work on it. We do get that, like, uh, I guess, like a very light beige type color. And then they added, like, some red paint here and there in it. And it looks really good. It looks like shorts that you cut, and they just worn out over time. Which is how his shorts do look. Up oh, a little bit of that paint bled on to the red shorts there. And then, um, the shorts actually aren't the same as the time skip Luffy, and that's because they added like a new point of articulation at the mid thigh here, which we'll get into when we take a look at the articulation. Uh, the knee joints look pretty good. I wish they added a little more paint shading on them. It looks like there's some on it, but it's very subtle. They do have paint shading on his thighs, and then we do get some on the lower legs. Very nice sculpt work throughout the legs. You can tell it's Luffy because he's very skinny and lanky, like how I am. Uh, nice um, paint shading around the ankles. We even get some on the feet as well, which I do like. And then they did put some on the left foot on the toes, but I don't see any on the right foot, so I guess they missed it by accident, which kind of sucks, but really not that big of a deal. We do get the uh, straps from his straw sandals sculpted on there, so I do like that they did that, and the paint's pretty clean for the black there. And then there's the bottom of his sandals, which look pretty cool. Nice sculpt work on them. And one other thing I really love that they updated with this Luffy. Now, you see the time skip Luffy? He always had this issue because he doesn't stand flat-footed, and I cannot stand when a figure doesn't stand flat-footed. Now, with this Luffy, they fixed that issue, so now he stands flat-footed, so I'm really happy that they were able to fix that. But overall, I think they did an excellent job with the detail on this new Monkey D. Luffy. They really knocked it out of the park with the paint and sculpt, and I don't think I could be any more happier with how this figure turned out. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, we get a decent amount of really cool stuff included with Monkey D. Luffy. So we do get three interchangeable faces. We do get this one on the left. That does come on the figure out of the packaging. And this is the basic type looking face while he's looking off to the left. And they did do a good job with it. I just had the issue with some black paint lines like below his mouth. Uh, in between his right eye and his nose, and then one by his right eye eyebrow. So that does kind of suck, but other than that, they did do a nice job with his face. So we do get that one, and then we do get the smiling, closed eyes, happy Luffy face, and they did a great job with this one. We do get a little bit of paint shading on the forehead. We did with this face as well, forgot to mention that, but very nice paint and sculpt all throughout this face here. Nice clean paint. There isn't no random paint lines on this one or anything. So very good job with the smiling face. And then finally, we get the I'm angry, teeth gritted Luffy face here. And they did a great job with this one as well. Very nice paint and sculpt all throughout it. We get a little bit of paint shading on the forehead and everything. So great job on all three interchangeable faces. And if you guys were curious, the time skip Luffy, you could actually use these faces with this Luffy and vice versa. It's just his skin tone is a little bit darker, but you really don't even notice it because... The uh, paint shading on Luffy's skin tone is pretty dark. So we do get those three interchangeable faces. And then we do get Luffy's favorite food, which is meat on a bone, which he's always eating throughout the anime. I think this is probably his favorite food. But uh, they did a nice job with the bone, nice sculpt work on it. We do have some brown paint from the meat on there. I don't know if that was done intentionally or if that was by accident. But other than that, the bone looks pretty good. And then the meat, they did put like some sculpted like dots throughout it. And then they did put some nice darker brown paint shading in the middle of it. And it does look pretty good. I have like some random blue paint there, like a line of it. I don't know what that's all about. But uh, they did a nice job with the meat there. And when you want Luffy to grip onto it, it's very simple. All you do is just slide the bone out. And you can actually make it look like Luffy just ate it right off the bone but uh, i do like how you have those two different options with meat on it or off it but uh you just take his gripping hand slide it on the bone there and then just slide it right back into the meat as simple as that so we do get that stuff and then we also get six interchangeable hands so we do get a pair of fists of course which come on the figure out of the packaging and these are the same fists we get with the time skip luffy but very nice sculpt and nice paint shading all throughout these, the knuckles looked open, the fingers and everything, so very good job with the fists here. And all the hands are extremely simple to interchange, and that is always a big plus when it comes to a figure. So we do get a pair of fists, 
And then we do get a pair of gripping hands, which is meant for him to grip onto the bone with the food that he's included with. And very nice uh, paint shading on these and nice sculpt as well. The knuckles look good and the fingers, the fingernails are sculpted on there and everything. And you will get paint rub every time you slide the bone in his hand, which does suck, but it is kind of expected with these variable action heroes figures. But very nice job on the gripping hands. And then finally we get a pair of open hands, which are the same ones we get with the time skip Luffy, but very nice job with the paint shading and the sculpt on these hands really look great. Fingernail sculpted on there and everything. So those are all the interchangeable hands included with the pre-time skip Luffy. But if you were curious if we can use the second gear, I forgot what the what he calls this punch. But if you were curious if you could use this with the pre-time skip Luffy, you can actually interchange these hands with the pre-time skip Luffy and vice versa with the time skip Luffy. And like I said with my Revoltech Spider Gwen review, it's always great when you can use other accessories from other figures in the same figure line. So we do get those six interchangeable hands, and then we also get two straw hats and two interchangeable hair pieces. So we do get this straw hat here with the string or rope on it, and this one's meant to hang over his shoulders, which is my favorite out of the two, I just like that look for Luffy. It just makes him look badass when this is hanging over his shoulders. Because it's pretty much him ready to fight. But a uh, beautiful sculpt on the straw hat. We do get some paint shading on it. Then we do get the red band sculpted and painted on there. And the paint's pretty clean for the most part. It's a little sloppy over here, but it's not like horribly bad. And then the bottom of it, we do get a little bit of sculpt work there. But not on the inside of the actual hat. And then the uh, sculpt on the rope looks pretty good too not sculpted on there and everything so that looks pretty cool and the way you get this on Luffy all you would do is pop his head off and then just slide this right over his shoulders and just pop his head on as simple as that so we do get that hat and then we do get the hat that he wears and pretty much same thing just with no rope uh, very nice sculpt nice paint shading the red band looks pretty good the red band the paint's cleaner on this one than the uh, one with the rope on it and then the bottom of it no sculpt work in there, we just get the wide peg insert, which is meant for one of his interchangeable hair pieces. But we do get a little bit of sculpt work around this part, so very good job on both his straw hats. And I'll show you how to put this on Luffy in a second. Whoops, that hat fell. And then we do get two interchangeable hair pieces. So we do get this one on the left with him not wearing his hat, and then we do get this one here with him wearing his hat. So we did take a look at this one. They did a beautiful job sculpting the hair. And then this one here where he's wearing the hat, they did a beautiful job, again, sculpting the hair where you can see it. Very nice sculpt work all throughout it. Now, the way you get Luffy's hat on and the way you get him to interchange his faces, this piece shouldn't have came off. Let me put that back on the figure there. All right, so both hair pieces, it's the same way to interchange his faces. So you would split them apart right here. You take the back part of his head that belongs in there. And be careful when you interchange the faces because this will fall off and your figure will drop. So do it over a table or something. So you got the back of his hairpiece on. Take a random face you would like to put on. Peg that in to the back part of the hair there. Then there you go. Then take the front piece of the hair here and line up the three pegs properly. And then there you go. It's that simple to interchange the faces. Then to get his hat on, you just line up the huge peg on his head with the hat and you just peg that in there like so and then there you go it, it looks awesome I feel like the hat isn't like overly large or looks too big on his head it just looks perfect like how it does in the anime they did an excellent job with that but anyway that is all the accessories included with straw hat Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? And I totally forgot about this, but we do get one more accessory included with Luffy, and it's actually a little saying here. I don't know what it says. I don't even know if I'm holding it the right way or if it's upside down or something, but it is a cool little accessory to include with a figure, especially if you're a big anime fan. Now, if you want to get this set up and displayed with Luffy, you would take this piece here, and this is only if you have a Mega House stand, you would slide it right on there, and then I guess you would peg that into the Mega House stand, but I don't have one, so I can't show you guys, so I do apologize. Or, you could take this little piece, peel off the pieces of paper on both sides so it's sticky on each end. I guess, stick it on that side, then stick it on the wall or something. Or, if you're going to put it on glass, you could actually peel the plastic off the one side, and then just stick it on the glass there. So, really cool little accessory to include 
with a figure. And I know Zoro and I think Perona will have one as well. But anyway, that is all the accessories now included with Luffy. Let's get moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now for the height of the Captain of the Straw Hats, to the top of his hair, it looks like he's just shy of 7 inches tall. And then here he is compared to the Variable Action Heroes Time Skip Monkey D. Luffy, Time Skip Usopp, Time Skip Sanji, and Time Skip Zoro. And it looks like this past version of Luffy is a little bit taller than his future self. And then here he is compared to the Variable Action Heroes Time Skip Robin, Time Skip Nami, Sabo, and Portkiss D. Ace. And then here he is compared to the Variable Action Heroes Draco Mihawk, Big Boobs McGee, Rob Lucci, and Whitebeard. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Daredevil. Anyway, there are some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review! Now for the articulation, we do get two points at the neck, so the upper neck joint, you could get Luffy to look up about that much, gets hindered by his hair as you can see, and then he looks down about that much, which is pretty good. We do get very nice pivot up there as you can see, and then it does swivel. Now the lower neck joint goes forward and back a tiny bit, so with both joints, whoops, his face was coming off, he can pretty much look all the way down, and with both joints he looks up about that much. Do get a little bit of pivot at the lower neck and then it also swivels, so decent movement at both the neck joints. Then we do get a point of articulation at the torso right under the chest. And Luffy can crunch forward with that joint about that much and then goes back that much. So tiny bit of forward and back movement there. And then we do get a little bit of pivot and then it also swivels. Now for the waist here, Luffy goes forward about that much. So with both joints, he does crunch forward an alright amount. And then goes back actually a lot with the weight so with both joints he actually goes back really far and then we do get nice pivot at the waist and then it also swivels now for the arms here we do get a nice joint at the shoulder so you can move Luffy's arm in a nice circular motion as you can see there and then the arms go out pretty much all the way up so that is always good they do go up and down we do have bicep swivel. You can have it swivel at the shoulder as well. Then we have double jointed elbows that bend in all the way. So nice movement there. Then we do have a ball hinge at the wrist so it does swivel and hinges back and forth. So nice movement throughout the entire arms down to the wrist. Now for the legs here, they don't shift down or anything, but Luffy can kick forward a little more than 90 degrees, but you might put stress on the underwear piece. It is a softer rubbery type plastic, but just be careful of that. I wouldn't leave him in any type of poses where you have his legs out 90 degrees. So just be careful of that. And then they do go back a tiny bit. And then he kicks out to the side about 90 degrees. And then we do get a little bit of swivel up there. Now we do have a new point of articulation for Luffy here at the mid-thigh. We do have a hinge in there. I don't know if you guys could see it. But we get nice movement with it actually. And then we do get swivel out of it as well so I do like that new point of articulation I didn't like how they had it with the time skip Luffy because I felt like you would shift his uh, leg up and down and I feel like it would get loose over time uh, we have a double jointed knee that bends back almost all the way and it doesn't get in the way of the shorts or the shorts doesn't get in the way or, or anything so I do like that and then the ankles here they do swivel but then they get hindered by the plastic for his ankles there so you can't get it to swivel too much, but they do hinge up a really good amount and then hinge pretty much all the way down. And then we get some decent pivot, but it does get hindered by the pieces of plastic for his ankles there. So just be careful of that not to break those pieces. And then we do have a pretty good toe hinge. So overall, I think we do get some very nice articulation with this Luffy. You're not going to be able to get him into that classic pose where he kind of crouches down and he has his fist down on the ground, which is a bit disappointing, but you're still going to be able to get him in some badass Monkey D. Luffy poses, and I'm about to show you some of them right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the Variable Action Heroes One Piece Yellow Vest Version Past Blue Luffy. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10, I'd have to give it an even 9. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I had mine imported from Japan from Ami Ami, so you have to check like Japan retailers, because I know my buddy from Ageless Geeks won't have this on the website, but he will have it at his booth at Frankensons. But if you ever do buy something from Ageless Geeks, 
Don't forget to enter in code name Daredevil and you'll get yourself a 5% off discount. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. So we do get a basic style box for the variable action heroes one piece line. We do get the window right there in the box and on the bottom says Monkey D. Luffy, Pass Blue, Yellow Version, Toya Bobby, and Chubba Chubba Boo. Then on the bottom says Monkey D. Luffy, Pass Blue, Version Yellow, Toy Animation, and Mega Mouse. <laughs> the bottom of the box has the blah 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 stuff nobody cares about them. We do time skip Zoro and he looks like he's a little bit taller than his head and it looks really good, and I do like how the, uh, And this is probably my favorite out of both of, uh, both? <laughs> and this one's meant to hang over his shoulders, which is my favorite out of the two. I always think, whoops, there it goes. Whoops.